Welcome to Six Figs, I'm Kyle. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about everything Definity and internet computer in this video. We're gonna be talking about everything from the latest news, events that are happening. We're gonna be talking about the price action at the end of this video. So if you're into internet computer, looking to see what's going on, this video is for you. Now I have been gone for like the last two weeks. I've been doing a lot of traveling, folks. I've been just all over the place. I needed to take a break. So uh, I was eating dinner right on this patio about this time last week was the 4th of July. So us Americans, we shoot off fireworks and guns and stuff. So I had a blast. I can assure you all of that. Now, folks, uh, what's going on with the internet computer? You know what? I thought that I would go ahead and just throw together this little uh, highlight chart of what exactly the internet computer can bring to the table. Now, what's interesting about internet computer is that the cost to store one gigabyte of data on chain, remember internet computer is not using AWS, they're not using Google Cloud, they are using their own network to store their own data on, and it's incredibly cheap, $5 per year. Now, what's also cool is that developers and builders can program with the native language, Moto Co, Rust, TypeScript, or Python. So it's highly versatile as far as attracting talent when it comes to building and developing on the internet computer. It really breaks down a lot of barriers for a lot of these developers that might know Python, but might not be comfortable with Rust or vice versa. Now, ICP is capable of 280,000 plus transactions per second, and there are claims by Definity that this number can grow as the network grows as they continue to scale vertically. Now, the average cost for a transaction is 0.0001 ICP, which is roughly about 0.0000 blah, 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 two, two cents. It's basically nothing. Uh, so that is an extreme advantage if you're going to be doing high volume buying and selling, things like that. Average block time, under a second. So think about that. When we look at the finality of 1.4 seconds, this is incredible. So what we have is you click the button to buy something and in you know a second or as fast as your web speed is, your purchase will go through on the chain. There's no more waiting 20 minutes or a half an hour on Ethereum or Bitcoin. You know, none of that high gas fee, stuff like that. And what's also cool is that it supports HTTPS outcalls, folks. It's the only chain that can do this. When we talk about Web3, it's very important that we still maintain this bridge or this connection to web two. We can't just be sitting out on this island of web three and expect everybody else from web two to come piling in. It ain't gonna happen. Web two's here to stay forever. But since ICP has this bridge from web three to web two, and it can process web two information in real time via the HTTPS outcalls, like this is a huge advantage, folks. And this is technology is only going to continue to grow. Now, I made this post, you know, on ICP and really, um, you know, when it came down to it, you know, I was not here to chain shame. I, I don't care what chain you get excited about. I'm happy for you as long as you are happy with your decision. Obviously, you know, there is a lot of banter back and forth, especially in crypto Twitter, as far as what chain's the best, what's the fastest transaction speed, blah, blah, blah. You know what? We've heard it all. We've seen it all, right? But what a lot of these other chains lack is the ability to store their data on chain because the costs are just too expensive. To store one gigabyte of data on Avalanche is going to cost you almost $211,000 as of this video. And that price is only going to go up as the price of Avalanche goes up. 
Cardano, $15,000 to $102,000, just depending on the amount of traffic, things like that. Ethereum, $23 million. Solana, $73,000 to store one gigabyte of data on other chains for a year. And this is why all these chains here store their data on Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud. But what would happen if all these chains here started maybe kind of putting their data, things like that, on ICP and storing it? It would be fast, easily accessible, things like that. So when you are out there in the cryptoverse, folks, battling it out, you know, it's important to know that there is some benefits to using ICP as a data storage hub. It's all on chain, right? Uh, so that's that's kind of one point I wanted to make before we kicked all this stuff off. Let's just kind of see what's going on within the Definity ecosystem. BuilderCon 2023 is having a Twitter Spaces July 12th. That's tomorrow. I'm not sure what time this is, UTC time. Uh, however, uh, one of my favorite people at Definity will be attending, and that is Mr. Herbert Yang. So I would highly recommend everyone hopping on Twitter at this time and supporting Herbert and the rest of the gang here. I, I do think that this could be an interesting chat. We've got Hot or Not, folks. For those of you that don't know what Hot or Not is, it's basically a decentralized TikTok that allows you to like place bets on how well a video will do, things like that. So they are doing some fundraising right now. And uh, as you guys can see, my current commitment is 100 ICP. They got about a day and a half left as of right now to reach 1 million ICP. Really at that price level, that's only about $4 million in change. It costs a lot to run an application like hot or not because gas fees are non-existent for the user on ICP. Users burn what's called cycles that the developers and the app owners provide. So as these cycles burn, uh, it basically costs a lot of money to run stuff like this. Uh, let's look at the stats, folks, because one thing that I love checking out more than anything else is the stats on Internet Computer. We saw 631 new Internet identities, and this was as of July 10th, so yesterday, uh, 277 new neurons, which over half the ICP is staked right now. Uh, so there are now 187,000, 188,000, right? Uh, so that is pretty cool. Uh, canisters, we're seeing 182 more smart contracts. Uh, enter, uh, we are down six gigabytes. So somebody must be doing some testing or something like that, or there must be some sort of glitch here. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, this is this is always something cool to look at as well. Uh, the most active crypto uh, six months out of the last six months based on GitHub. Internet computer, 100 plus contributors, over 2,187 commits. That's pretty impressive. That's really impressive. Uh, you can kind of see some of these other... Uh, ecosystems. I like Atom. I like Cosmos. Uh, so it is what it is. Now let's just take a look at the markets here, folks, because it's about to get real spicy up in here. I'm just feeling it. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So where is ICP, folks? I'm not seeing it on here. It's been relatively flat the last couple days. You know, last day, it's up 1.6%. Still up almost 12% on the month. So the market's kind of like a mixed bag right now. And I wanted to show you guys this gone fan that I had set up for you. And as you guys can see that it's been uh, a very accurate gone fan for the most part. You can see a lot of support and resistance levels being kind of held up by these fans and things like that. So with that said, currently right now, the price on the daily chart is barely being supported right now at this uh, four to one trend line. So if we see this four to one trend line kind of fall, we're going to see the price maybe come down to about 
$3.66 level, somewhere in there. But if the price takes off, I do think that we could have a little bit of resistance around the $4.30 level or maybe kind of right along this 50 moving average, which is this purple line. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but you guys can see this. But I'm hoping we get a test and maybe have this 50 moving average. Bear with me one second. I'm hoping that we see this 50 moving average kind of do one of these. And I'm hoping that we see this price kind of go like this. And I would love, I would love more than anything to see this price come right up to about this $5 level at about this 200 moving average on the daily charts, folks. But, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting here. I do think that we should prepare for the worst in case it happens and we get a rejection in this area. That will be forming a somewhat, uh, you know, obvious head and shoulders pattern. And you guys can kind of see that. That could take us down to that $3.65 level so i mean that's kind of where things are at right now in the markets hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe also i'm going to put a link in the description where if you are into these types of charts you can join my group called the trade tank and it's built on internet computers open chat so join folks i want you all in there and we drop these charts things like that all the time there's lots of great discussion on what's happening in the finance and crypto world and it's free that's the best part about it. So we'll see you guys all in the next video.